<laughs> so I'm a, when I started in the real estate business, I remember the first day I ever came in this office. And I just fell in love with you, and I just thank you for giving me that opportunity to come work under you. Because you have taught us a lot. Now, when you started, you said you had, you felt like you had a great deal of freedom when you first started? You know, uh, uh, what happened, I was brought up in the church. Mm-hmm. Mary is to the church. Even though I never verbalized this to myself, in here, I felt that to really serve the Lord, you had to be under the the people, you know. And when I came out and went into this other, I was mixed with little ordinary people that don't live church, 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 church every day. So I was working with people I was working with the real people, real and I could do things that I never had been able to do before. Living in the parsonage, you can't put a nail in the wall unless you're the committee tells you you can. You know, back then right. that's the way it was. And I was free to do the things I felt God had gift, uh, gifted me, mm-hmm. but I was a gifted person. Mm-hmm. And there's so many things I could not do for people because I'm a preacher's wife, and I'm supposed to do what preacher's wife is supposed to do. <laughs> and that's what, and everybody has an opinion, you right. know. Yeah. So I felt really good going around out here and doing the things and catching these doors that opened for me because I felt that it was, I could have sat and cried when the bishop said, you're going there, and I had nowhere to live, and I have nowhere to go. I have nothing to do. But that came on at the right time. I I heard it, and it was a new avenue for right. me to travel. Mm-hmm. And I was determined I did not let the negative get in my way. I mm-hmm. pushed on, mm-hmm. let the negative, what other people say, what other people do, right. that's them and their business. It's right. not mine. Mm-hmm. Um, if they want to stay down there in a ditch mm-hmm. and complain, mm-hmm. not going to bother me. I'm going to keep walking up here on a high hill. Right. Let them gossip and carry on down here and have their cocktail parties. I'm out listening to selling houses, right. you know. Right. That was the attitude I had. Mm-hmm. And while they were having their cocktail parties, oh, come on, I got an appointment. I got an appointment. Right. And I had things You were going to help someone yes. else find their and, home. Uh, I like to share this with the public in that when things do happen, the, there may be something there God has planned for you because I feel like so many ways I've been more, uh, more help to Jesus in the ministry in this working with the real estate Right. That a lot of ways that I didn't have before. Not that I did not enjoy and mm-hmm. love working with Mr. James all those years. Right. The youth ministry that we did, God knows I could write books mm-hmm. and it would be absolutely unbelievable what I did in spite of the churches that I had to go up against and prove to them that we could do it. Right. And it, it, was, it was wonderful. And I did it because I, t- I, t- I take it real that Jesus is there and will hold your hand. Yeah. Oh, He's yes, here he now, is. you he know, is. and I wish I wish everybody could know that he is there. He can hold your hand. He's not going to make every day perfect, right. but he's there to help you get through it. Right. And I want to give this one little story. Every day, all of us have a gift, a gift from God. Everybody has this gift, and nobody in this world has ever had that gift before. And there's no one that has ever lived or died or that ever will live and die that will ever have that gift that is given to each of us. Each morning we have, it's like going to school, you have a clean page, Mm -hmm. clean page. We have a day today. It's our day. If we went back and looked at the pages that we have been given, what did we do? What did we put on it? What did we do to history? You know, the people that discovered America, the people that are heroes and all that, they had to do something. If we sit around and write and complain, don't get up and do anything, what do we write on our page? We need to write on our pages and go back and thank God for the gift and we make make our contributions and record them. We do. Each day. And I love that because that's, you know, earlier you were mentioning that our forefathers or people in the past you know, they contributed their lives so that we can have freedom and glory to serve God and to do the things that God had gifted us to do. So that falls right in line with that. And I do thank you today for your time. And I just love you because just like God extended his hand to you, I know that you have extended your hand to me. And I just thank you. 
And Father God, continue to bless Miss Irma. Continue to bless her real estate business. Continue to bless everyone who crosses her path in Jesus' name. And we're so happy to have you. Thank you, Miss Irma. Thank you.